Get ready to learn more about the planet we live on and how galaxies assemble. The very first full color images from the James Webb Space Telescope just revealed minutes ago. Take a look at that. The telescope is the largest and most complex space science observatory ever built. It's expected to transform our view of the universe. Space communications expert Alexander Doten, also known as Astro Alexandra, joining us now. Thank you so much for being with us. What is your reaction to seeing this first image? I mean, as you mentioned, this was announced seconds ago, so I am also updating continuously, and it is emotional to say the least. The Hubble Deep Field set the stage for what we know as seeing thousands of galaxies in one photo, but the James Webb Space Telescope is 100 times more powerful. So what we're seeing is an image. If you held a grain of sand at arm's length up to the sky, that's what we're seeing in this image, and there are thousands of galaxies so it puts a lot into perspective here it's a very emotional moment it really is i mean when you say a grain of sand you know magnetized or blown up here talk mm -hmm. to us about how this telescope is different from others like maybe the hubble Absolutely. So there are a few key differences. Um, first of all, the James Webb Space Telescope photographs in infrared light. So that means it can see the oldest stars in the entire universe, stars that are so old that their light, their wavelengths have stretched with space itself, which makes them redder. And James Webb Space Telescope photographs in infrared light. Hubble photographs in visible light, so it's pretty similar to when we look out at space. But the James Webb Space Telescope will, like you said, help us understand understand the origins of the universe and the origins of galaxies by letting us see this ancient, ancient light billions and billions of years old. So that's one difference. Another one is that this has a wider field of view than Hubble, and its resolution is the most powerful resolution that we've ever seen. You know, you know, taking a look at these images, you know, really just makes us appreciate how small we are uh, in the big scheme of things here. What were you expecting to see, uh, Alexander, versus, you know, actually seeing that first image for the first time? I was expecting to see something very similar to Hubble's deep field, which is what they gave us. But what I find spectacular about this image is, from what I've seen br briefly, the immense um, gravitational lensing, which is when gravity distorts the light. And you can see that in stripes of galaxies in that image. And that's really interesting because of one of James Webb's main missions is to understand more about dark matter and dark energy. And dark matter is hidden matter in the universe. Universe, which is largely responsible for that gravitational lensing. So I do think that this photo was chosen strategically to hint at those goals of James Webb and show how much gravity is in the universe. Well, I have to say your passion for this absolutely comes through. Astro Alexandra, thank you so much for your time. Of course, thank you so much. And we want to let you know you can join us tomorrow on Rush Hour, where I will speak live one on one with NASA's chief scientist about all of the new photos and what they mean for the future of space exploration. Remember, this is never before seen stuff. That is tomorrow on Rush Hour at 5 o'clock Eastern. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.